Hi folks, um, for today I thought I'd do a slow <clears throat> explanation of Hockey Blast. I think there's still some people out there struggling with the game a little bit, so hopefully I can help out and explain the timing. The timing seems to be an issue with some people. Timing is basically on the score sheet. Every time something happens in the game, you mark it down, and that is part of the time on the clock until you run out of spaces to fill in. So I'm just going to jump in and I'll explain it. I'll go quite slow. This game here is between Toronto and Vancouver. I'm doing a replay of the Canucks season. This is March 4th. Vancouver won 4-1. to one. Murray was in it for Toronto. Demko for Vancouver. These are the exact lineups. So that's why you see Noah Jolson has uh, a card that's not come in this set uh, that I just created and threw in there. So you start off by rolling for a face-off. And my face-off is a 7 so you go to the face-off chart and seven on the face-off chart says it's won by the high face-off person so jt miller is a 55 and austin matthews is a 52 i usually have Pedersen on this line and miller here but if i had that way Pedersen would lose the the face-off to matthews and Tavares would lose it to miller so face-offs are key in this game so I got Miller playing with these guys today so he can beat Matthews. So the puck goes over to Vancouver. I also usually play with my trays, but I thought I'd put everything out here and explain the game as I go. So Vancouver has it, and no time sequences as a result of a face-off. I don't do anything in my sheet, and I just roll. <clears throat> and my roll is a six. So what is that going to be? It's going to be a zoom. So on a zoom... I'm going to check number five on Vancouver and one on Toronto. The trait I'm looking for is six, and six would be star. An easy way to check your traits, you can look in the book or just go one is speed, two is skill, three is power, four is hit, five is smart, six is star. So I'm going to be comparing star for player five and player one on the Zoom. Burroughs does not have it. Bunting does not have it. Since Burrow does not have it, uh, they turn the puck over. So on my score sheet, I'm just going to put down for me, I put down VT, uh, Vancouver turnover. So puck goes over to the other side, and we change lines. That's one time sequence. Toronto picks it up, and I roll a 10. A 10 is a turnover if the defensive team has a square. Pedersen has a square. So the puck goes over to Pedersen, but on 10 turnover and 9 momentum, you don't make any adjustments to the score sheet. So you just turn the puck over and nothing's going to happen. Roll the dice and I've got a 9. And this is another one where um, looking for a, a, we're looking for the, the hit symbol for momentum to see which team is going to get momentum. And... We check here, Hall has a hit, Lafferty has a hit. So Toronto is going to get the puck and they are gonna get momentum. So I'm gonna put the momentum part over to them. Um, is no line change and no time in advance. So again, the puck just goes over to the other side and we're gonna continue. <clears throat> I'm going to roll an eight. So now we're checking for player. Um, we're checking for uh, ice blast. And for ice blast, we're looking for who's got the most amount of hits. Now, I just did that last time. Toronto has two. Vancouver has one. So Toronto is now going to get a shot on goal. And if they didn't have momentum, they would get it because of the hit symbol. So what I'm going to do is put down Toronto is going to get a shot. And I keep track of how many shots. So I just put down T1. So again, that marks off a minute off the timer. And I'm going to see who's going to take the shot. I roll. I get an 8. So when I get an 8, I'd go to the play chart to see who's going to get a shot. And to be 2 one, 3 So 2 is the first passer. 1 is the second passer. And 3 is going to be the shooter. So you're going to look at the stars. Tavares has 2 plus the star that is white which he's going to use because their team has momentum so that goes from two stars to three lafferty 
will have a star now because they have momentum. So that goes from zero to one. And Nylander goes from one star to two stars because he has the blank one. So the shot factor for this is going to be three, four, five, six. So it's going to be in range. And this is just what I do. I wouldn't recommend it. I keep track of how many in range shots. So I put a little dot with a circle. So the shot is going to be in range because they have six stars. So Demko on the white die needs a one, two, three in order to make the save. So here comes the shot by Tavares. It's a four, which matches that a six. This is a four. It's higher than Demko's three. So Toronto's going to score. So I usually, I have another score sheet where I put my my people that score on the side here. And this is one of my old, old ones. My modified one at my gitchplay.wordpress.com would have the scoring here. And these are a little thinner. Uh, so what I do is put it on the back. So it's going to be a goal for Toronto. So I'm just going to put down Toronto's first goal. Tavares from Lafferty and Nylander. And the time of the goal is going to be the one minute mark. And uh, for the time, I just use the two dice, so black and white. So 144. And again, I just use the back of the sheet, this because my column isn't there. And you mark off that. You could put a little star for a goal if you want. I just circle the one. And you're going to rotate the lines after the goal. <clears throat> These guys go off. Now, if they didn't have it previously, they would get momentum because of a goal. And we're going to move to a face-off. Face-off is a three high face-off person. Drees is a 50. O'Reilly is a 56. Toronto gets the puck. No timing sequence off the face-off. And you roll again. You got a nine, momentum. Toronto has the puck, so they have momentum. We roll again, we have an eight. So we're gonna be looking at zoom and sorry, at an ice blast. For an ice blast, use all the qualities. So we're looking for four, which is the hit quality. We got one on McCabe, two on these guys. So that is gonna be a Toronto turnover. So you mark it on your sheet. I just go TT for Toronto turnover. Puck goes over to Vancouver and because it's a hit, symbol they will gain momentum with the puck and we go on to the fourth line now for this hockey game toronto dressed seven d men so i'm going to take turns with mccabe and shen and this right winger spot is going to be filled with marner for right now so not the greatest way to teach a game but i am following my schedule and those are the exact lineups so predict, put Marner right here. He's going to take a shift for that fourth line. And we're going to roll the dice. Vancouver has the puck and it's a seven. So seven is a lull. So on a lull, you put down three L's and you mark it down on your sheet. It's going to be a face off and the team that had momentum loses momentum. Face off again and we have a five. And a five is going to be visitor wins a face off and they get an immediate play. So Toronto gets it and they're going to get a shot on net. So I'm going to put down Toronto's second shot. So you can see how the period is going through. You just jot down the activities and you see who gets it. So Toronto's going to get a shot and let's see who's going to get it. It's an eight. So on the play chart, eight is a two, one, three. So we've got a two, a one, and a three is going to be camp taking the shot. So we have scissors, three stars, and scissors. So scissors is going to cut it in half. So that three is going to go to one and a half, and I believe you round down. And that's going to go to a one, and one cut in half is going to round down. So it's going to be no stars on this shot. The two scissors will neutralize the three assists. Here's the shot, and the shot is a six. So it's not in range. So I'm not going to put a little dot for myself. And six says, goalie kicks it wide, puck is loose. Oh, one gets a rebound shot and he shoots. So on my sheet, I'm going to put down rebound. And it's the third shot in the period for Toronto. And it's going to go to oh, one. So 
Just going to switch these. Black guy is the shooter for my game. So he's going to have a one-star shot. So Chari needs a one black. He does get a one black. Five white on Demko's card is going to be a goal. So a goal for Toronto as Achari puts in the rebound. So again, I'm just going to circle where they score. And on the back of the sheet, I'm just going to write it down. Toronto's second goal is going to come at 6.15. Noel Achari picks it up from Marner and Camp. And Toronto has got a 2-0 lead. That's your Demko not stopping too many shots and we're six minutes into the first period and we're going to rotate the lines after the goal and the shot put my little shooter guys off to the side and we're going to have a face off and toronto is going to get momentum because of that goal we'll put marner back on the top line i probably should just rotate them but um put marner there next time we'll put lafferty down there and off the face off it's a four so high face off wins it so Puck is going to go to JT Miller. He's a 55. Matthews is a 52. Again, on a face-off, you don't make any adjustments to your timing chart or your scoreboard. <clears throat> Vancouver's got it, and we rolled an 11. So we're looking for two defensive square symbols. Toronto has one, two, Brody and Hall. So it is going to be a Vancouver turnover, and the Puck will go over to... Toronto and we rotate the lines now when I play with a team that has two dots I put them together on the penalty kill because when you do a face-off if you roll a seven on the face-off two dots will create a lull so I like to keep my two dots together I usually like a square on each line for rebounds but I kind of like the the PK having the two dots together so that's why I didn't break them up so Toronto has the puck. We're going to roll, and it's a nine. It's momentum. Toronto has the puck. They will just keep it, and we have a six. So now we're going to be checking for a shot. It's going to be checking player number two and player number four, and the trait we're looking for is five, which is smart. So Lafferty does not have it, so Toronto is going to turn the puck over. So again, I just jot down Toronto, turn the puck over, marks off a time sequence, puck goes over, and it's picked up there by Vancouver. Vancouver will bring it out, and we have a four. And with a four, you're looking at odd man rush. So an odd man rush, number two, if he has a down arrow symbol, it's going to be a shot on net. Otherwise, it's going to be a turnover. De Giuseppe does not have it. So it will be a Vancouver turnover. So I just mark it down. Puck goes over the other side and we change the lines. <clears throat> now I'm about halfway through the period. So I'm going to do a line skip for each team. And again, you can get this score sheet at gitchplay.wordpress.com. And the, I'm going to just skip the uh, forwards. I'll keep the demon where they're at. And Toronto has the puck. And I rolled an eight. So an eight is an ice blast. And we're looking for trait number six, which is star. So we'll see who's got the most stars out there. None here. One, two here. Probably I should have done this game with my trays. It's a little easier to teach when you're doing that. So we have two stars here and one star here. Nothing there. So Toronto has more stars. So they're going to get a shot on net. So I'm going to put down T4 for the shot and let's see who's going to take it for toronto number 12 is going to be two three four so two and three four is going to be shooting and we have two stars because toronto has momentum matthews um little white star becomes a dark star so that's two we have five stars and scissors so you got to split it in half That'd be two and a half, rounded down as two stars. So Brody has a two-star shot. We're going to roll, and it's a three-star shot, so it's not in range. So we're going to go to the goalie save chart. Ping off the post, scramble in front. If, if 
Vancouver has a square on it. They're going to get control or 03 gets a rebound. They don't have a square, so it's going to be a rebound. So I'll mark that down on the sheet.